So this is the boat heater. Uh, it's called a Twin Hornet. Uh, dual component design. I have the what's called the 45. They also make a 66, but I contacted Brian at the uh, company and he recommended the three, excuse me, the 45 for my 380 boat. Looks pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm just going to plug this thing in. I'm going to try to find a path of least resistance, if you will, from here, right there, all the way back to the engine compartment. Probably going to use a block of wood to put it on, but hopefully I can find a path where I don't have to leave the hatch open. Uh, more to come on that as I figure this out. All right, so I'm not able to find a way to route the electrical cord right there all the way through to here. I was able to get in behind here a little bit and shorten it, but as you can see back in there, none of this has access to the engine compartment, which makes sense. It should be sealed. I can't find any access panels of any kind to run the cable, the electrical cord through without, so I, I can, so I don't have to run it through the hatch. But it looks like someone before me did that, which I'm not a fan of, but it's there. So there you can see the heater. Let's put a board there so it can lay kind of flat, but I doubt that's really gonna do much. The bilge is super dry, so I'm not really worried about that. <clears throat> I guess if the bilge is getting water, my last concern is heat. I'm more concerned about the water. So I'm going to lower the, the hatch. I'm going to cut myself a piece of foam here to put around that just for so it doesn't lay right on the wire and to provide a little insulation from the air. And we'll see how that goes. All right, so here's what I ended up doing. I could not find a good access point within the engine compartment. So I took those six screws out fed the power core up through that and then of course all the way up to the right here to this guy uh, it's not a real slug connection so I just put a little cloth down there just for, for keep it from rubbing of course the heaters in the engine compartment and hopefully that's good um, it's gonna put some foam or something around that but that's a pretty decent seal um, I'm not sure how cold it's gonna get here but we'll find out all right so there you go. That's what I did with my build cheater to get it all set up. Uh, I'll link some details down below on who I got it from. Um, you can get free shipping and no taxes if you reference my name when you call in. Uh, they're a small business, so I like to help them out. All right. Thanks, guys.